hello guys welcome back to my tutorial so today I will show you how to create a currency calculator so it's not basically a currency calculator but we are just fetching currency in base rate of USD and but we can we do can convert USD to any other currency so if I press 50 here and convert and it updates and one more thing guys this is live so we are fetching data from api and this api is refreshed every one minute so you get the live rates and this api also supports like different currencies but i'm not implementing that part so basically this tutorial will be divided into two parts uh in my first part uh we will parse json and we will set up the main layout and in the next part i will show you the main logic so let's get started and this is the API I will link this in the description so basically if you uh, want to change the base currency you can just like here uh, change it to any other of this ones okay don't change it to anything else which is not in here so I will change it uh, change it to USD and we get the so first we get a base rate we get a date and we get rates so let's dive in so first let's set up our storyboard and I'll view storyboard as iPhone X. So first I'll throw in a text field and a lib uh, a button so so that we can change the currency and we need a table view as well. And one change what we need to do is let's change the background color to something grayish because I hate white right now I hate white. So let's give constraints. So 10 from top, 10 from left, 10 from right, and a fixed uh, height of 30. And let's do the same for the button. 10 from up, 10 from left, 10 from right, and a fixed height of, let's make this a bit big. So let's say button is 50, okay? So that it looks good. And I'll change button background color to let's say white, and our text color will be gray. So a bit of like contrasty thing, that's good, right? And I'll increase the size and I'll say convert. And let's change it to like bold or something. This looks really dull. Yeah, uh, not bad. And let's give our table view constraints as well. So 10 from top, 10 from left, 10 from right, and 10 from bottom. So cool. And let's get the outlets so we don't have to do it later. So this will be a text field. So I'll say rate field. And uh, for let's get rid of this and we need table view outlet as well. So this will be our conversion conversion table view. And for button we will say drag and drop here and we will say convert pressed and action. So connect. So we are done with the layout part. So let's parse the JSON and I might have already copied the URL so let me just check it once uh, first of all I'll create a function for this URL so I'll say function fetch data and open close parentheses and here I will say let URL is equal to URL and this will be o o o URL all capital and this will be URL string from string and our string will be I hope it's copied and it's not so let me get it from the API thing. I'll just copy this and put it here. Uh, what uh, if you are willing to implement all the currencies, what you can do is you can pass in a string in your function and you can change the URL, okay? That will be smart. And so we have the URL now, so we just need to fetch the data. So I will, okay, first we need a structure and struct this will be currency and this will confirm to protocol decodable and open parentheses uh, open curly brackets and if you don't know about decodable we need to name our variables same as here so i will fetch base as string data string and rates as a dictionary of string and double so let's get started so this will be lead base uh, what was that i forgot that was quick so this will be base date and rates so base is string let the rate uh, no let date is equal to string I guess I don't need date but 
let's keep it right now so rates will be a dictionary of string and double cool so let's parse the JSON URL session dot shared dot data task with URL and completion handler and here we will pass in our URL and for completion handler we will say data response and error will be error and for code we will check if there is some error or not so error is equal equal to nil this just means that there is no error so if there is error we will say else uh, print error and one more thing whenever we perform this data task we need to resume so uh, after this bracket this whole thing we say dot resume uh, you will get it auto complete so if you try it some after some other bracket it won't work so just make sure it's there and uh, okay so if there is no error we will perform this so okay we need a variable as well so here I will say variable USD and this will be of type currency and question mark and here I will say self dot USD equal to JSON decoder open close parentheses dot and we need decode and protocol will be currency dot self and data will be data so data comes from here basically and this will tell us an error so basically this function json decoder thing throws so we need to perform this under do statement uh, do and catch block so this will be do open brackets tab this out now we need a catch as well and here i will say print and parse error and it looks good just add some spacing so that it's good and visible and let's just spit it out so i will say dispatch q dot main dot async and here i will say print and let's say current uh, usd dot base i guess base yeah cool let's just print it out we have many errors and i forgot to type try here every time i forget it every time so this will be self dot usd dot base and let's run the application okay string to any whatever uh, so we will just basically get an optional so this is our new application and we see nothing so currency calculator lazy loading whatever 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 so what we need to do is let's try to unwrap this thing let's see if it works it definitely parsed huh let's run it again okay so loaded currency calculator system group okay it's going to configurable currency calculator so we have the api here it should work where is the error so let's find it out it also does not oh we forgot to call our function that's the dumbest thing i have ever done okay let's run the application and see how it works okay so it has loaded and here is the optional so it's working anyways uh, if you like my video thumbs up if you have any questions post them in comments and don't forget to watch the second part so that's where all the fun begins so i hope to see you in the next part peace